by a stock investor meeting here in Stockholm, and I'm joined by CEO and co-founder of Brain Plus, Kim Baden Christensen. Welcome, Kim. Thank you. Good to be here. I'd like to start with a basic question. What is Brain Plus? So at Brain Plus, we develop digital therapies for dementia. So these are for people with mild to moderate dementia, and it's a type of non-pharmacological therapy where people are being stimulated broadly in the brain, and it's delivered via uh, tablets, you can say. Mm -hmm. um, how does your range of products fit into the everyday life of a person living with dementia? Yeah. So there are, there's today the, the way this therapy is being delivered is that people, they come into a clinic, they have a therapist present, and that therapist is guiding them through a number of topics and things that they need to do. And that has very strong clinical evidence that this works for people to mild to moderate dementia. So our first product will actually just support the therapist in doing that more easily, higher quality, more consistently, and not, use, not spending time to prepare for that. But our second product, which is using the same therapeutic method, will actually allow people to do this therapy at home with a loved one. Mm -hmm. So that means that you will be able to sit down a couple of times a week with a family member with dementia and have a virtual guide there that will be guiding through a conversation type therapy, advanced ther uh, and type of advanced uh, talk therapy, you could say, mm -hmm. that is very stimulating and uh, has that type of clinical uh, benefit, basically, to stimulate the brain very broadly. Mm -hmm. Um, well, one of the biggest challenges for uh, treating dementia is, of course, reaching, reaching patients at an early enough stage. Mm -hmm. What is your answer to this? So there's a lot of work ongoing to be able to screen and detect for dementia more early on, or rather for Alzheimer's disease, even before it turns into, into dementia. So that's part of the answer to that. And once we can do that, Brain Plus also has a memory test that can do early preclinical detection of Alzheimer's disease. So we're working with that. That's Oxford University that developed that originally, and then we've partnered with them to, to co-develop that, that further. Uh, and then the important part, once you have done this early identification, you can say is then to be able to offer them something. And this is our primary thing. We also have a technology that is for people with mild cognitive impairment that is in, in a big innovation project that we have. And this is the stage before you get the dementia diagnosis, where you start having some issues, but it's not full dementia yet. Yeah. Um, do you see digital therapeutics overtaking pharmaceuticals over time for treating dementia and Alzheimer's disease? So in terms of uh, the, the total way we do healthcare, it'll be a long time before something like that happens. But what I do see is that digital therapeutics will become the standard of care, especially in, in, uh, in disease areas like dementia, mm -hmm. where there's, let's be honest, very few effective treatments today. So there you will see digital therapeutics really uh, be the a primary way of treating people. That can be in, com in, in a complementary fashion with, with drugs as well. And we'll see that in other areas as well. And as we move further and further uh, into more preventative type me measures, that's where digital therapeutics will also play a very big role, also in Alzheimer's and, and dementia. Mm -hmm. And finally, this is a global question. Uh, more broadly, would you say we're at the beginning of a, of a digital therapeutics revolution? Yeah, we are, we're at the beginning looking at the larger time scale. It's already been, been ongoing for, for a while now and it's going really fast with, with this, both in terms of more and more countries having a speci specialized reimbursement pathways for this. Mm -hmm. We're both seeing that in, in, uh, in Germany, in Belgium, France will be coming online. And in the U.S., we're also seeing very large-scale coverage of digital therapeutics for in several disease areas. So, yeah, it's really coming, and it's coming fast. Well, very nice. Thank you so much for answering the questions and joining us today. And uh, we wish you all the best with your work. Thank you so much.